Here's Stanley Roberts, who found some people behaving badly. There's a strong odor wafting around the tenderloin. Let's just say if your television or electronic device has smell of vision, you'd be turning down the smell right now. See, this is our building right here. Uh -huh. And this right here, this is all day. See how I didn't hate it on? This is a bathroom, man. They boo boo here. And all day, we have to every day come out here and clean it up. Yes, it's sad, but true. People have been using the streets of the Tenderloin as a public toilet. It's not right. People behaving bad. Y'all shouldn't be boo booing out here, man. Look at what you're doing. You got me out here every day with a water hose helping out the janitor. That's not right. This is still Seville. Like I'm not making this up. A resident on Ella Street across from the Tenderloin pit stop. Back in July, Public Works and City Clean, a nonprofit trying to beautify the city, installed three pit stop portable toilets. They are usually put into service Tuesday through Friday from 2 p.m. to 9 p.m., apparently during the peak restroom periods. They are located on Ellis across from Glide Church, Turk and Hyde across from the Turk Hyde Mini Park, and on Golden Gate, the areas with the most problems. They come equipped with a place to dispose of used syringes, dog litter, and toilets. Each person is allowed five minutes to do what they have to do, or they'll get a knock on the door. Talk about pressure. But are they working? Some people say yes, it is cut down on public urination, sort of like what this guy is doing over a Myrtle Alley. But the porta potties stop them for a minute, but as soon as that leave, they come right here. Those porta potties need to be 24 hours a day. But here's the problem with the portable toilets being here for 24 hours. There are already some permanent ones that people use as a shooting gallery. And since the Tenderloin pit stops have attendance to avoid abuse, it's kind of funny that you basically need security for toilets. 24-hour versions would create broader issues. However, people using San Francisco city streets as public restrooms to the point you have to look where you walk is an even bigger issue. And I can tell you, if I ever step in human waste, I'm tossing my shoes forever. In San Francisco, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News.